girl PK and I'm here with an end of June event calendar look because I missed doing it at the beginning. I was hoping to get it into like more of July. I was hoping they would release the uh, content calendar a little early, but I don't think they're going to be doing that. So um, this is what we get. <laughs> I'm going to go over the last of those events and then we're also going to talk a little bit about the forum shutdown as well as um, this is also going to be my last video for Rise of Firstborn slash Iron Throne. So first let's get to the good stuff. Let's look at the more and the forum and see if we can find that calendar which should be pretty far down june events at a glance uh, we were able to look and participate in true world this month we had a great invasion i think that was 75 percent off invasion sadly i think the one we had before that was like 95 percent, wasn't it that was that was a pretty awesome one um we have blood moon war coming up this weekend we just had the random card event um kick in which i didn't see any great things in there so I don't maybe they I'm not sure what's going on there but um and then we have the rest of the summer celebration log event which has been great make sure you're logging in every day and getting those goods they're giving away millions of gold um overwhelming chests all sorts of goodies in this login event it's been a great one and then we finish up the end of the month with a battle royale season change for those of you who are still playing that <laughs> It's been a pretty eventful month. I'm looking forward to what next month will bring. And uh, hopefully it'll start with a bang. You know, July the 4th. Haha. Uh -huh. All right, whatever. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to finish that up. And then since we're already in here, we could take a look at maybe the announcements. And we're going to see there was a maintenance notice because we had a maintenance last night. And a brand new use all button, which will allow you to use all resources at once. I'm not entirely sure what that means um, because we kind of have a use all resources. Like when you're doing research and stuff, it just takes everything. Uh, but I, from what I understand, nobody's able to find this because they've postponed it. <laughs> so I guess we'll figure that out in the future. Uh, the maintenance compensation did go up a little bit. I think we were getting like 5,000 gold before, weren't we? Now we're getting 1 million, which is better than nothing. And it buys titan xp which i know a lot of y'all are hurting for um or you can use that in the jonah's shop is that that was his name right jonah's maybe maybe i should look better at that but <laughs> but that was um and then 30 rp shield and of course the free ap which are always appreciated um Right below that, you're going to see the forum closure as part of the handoff between Netmarble and Kixai. We've decided to close the Rise of Firstborn forums effective June 27th. Communication with the community will always be one of our top priorities. We've launched a new website with the news feed feature to bring you all the latest developments about the Rise of Firstborn. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll be sure to notify the community on the official Rise of Firstborn Discord server when a new update has been added to the website. So you'll never miss a beat. Um, so what I understand is that probably several of the line chats are going to be um, not regulated anymore and will probably be shut down or just handed off. And then a lot of their communication is going to be through Discord. And it's going to give you a little more um, community management features. And you'll, you'll be able to get one-on-one -on -one more with a management team or somebody that goes in between uh, the community and the developers. So that's pretty exciting. At the bottom, we have the link to the website, link to Twitter, link to Discord, and link to Wiki. I'm going to post this in the information box below so that it's easy for you guys to find if you need it too. Also in game, they did send out a mail. And we can take a look at that because I have not gone into it yet. But we can go into mail, and I think it was in the system. And hello from your new community manager, Ayla. It has a Discord invite at the bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to click it. And if you already have a Discord up, um, it will just automatically ask you to accept the invite. And it will throw you into the Rise of Firstborn Discord. So you can see that's where it is. On the left-hand side, you're going to see all the way on my top left is the Riser Firstborn channel. So when I come in here, you can then see general chats, Rise of Firstborn discussion, suggestions, feedback, um, an area for content creators. So anybody that's creating stuff can post in here, I'm guessing.
and all sorts of game bugs. So this is going to be a little bit of a better way to get in touch with the developers and let them know if how strongly you feel about certain things. I know a lot of us are not a big fan of Discord. <laughs> we did some chatting in the Elite chat where I was I was pretty unhappy about it. But I just uh, I think that it is going to be a great way for everybody to get in contact with the developers if you know to kind of tweak this game and make it a little more user friendly. I know a lot of people have been unhappy with the lack of progression of the game the past year or so. So um, this could be a wonderful way for you to voice out your concerns should you have them. So that's going to be how you go over to Discord. I'm really, I'm not a Discord teacher, so I'm, I, I cannot, you know, tell you <laughs> what you need to do, but e it's easy to figure out. You can make it as complex as you want to, um, or you can just keep it simplified, and that is always a good thing. I was uh, comparing it earlier to being Line as like your Apple phone, where it's just very user-friendly, very intuitive, not much that you can do with it, um, whereas Discord is more like Android. You can, you can make it simple. Um, but you can also make it super complicated if you are up for the challenge and you can customize it and, um, and all that jazz. So now we come back to the front here. And I think that's basically all I was going to cover was the last of the content for this month and then the forum closure. Uh, there also seems to be a website it was talking about. So let's actually look into that one more time. And because I hadn't read it before and I didn't realize they had a website. So playrfb.com is going to be the new Rise of Firstborn website. And looks like they have a community post there where they're going to have some type of forum. Which is great. It's a good looking website. Um, I know it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks sometimes and we've been used to a certain thing for, what, three, four years now. But... It looks, it looks pretty good. They're taking it over. Netmarble's taking their step back. Kixai is taking their step forward. And hopefully if we just voice our concerns and our support that they're going to listen to the community as a whole and really make this game um, as wonderful as, as it can be. With that being said, I uh, this is my last video for you guys. I've been kind of taking a step back with the content creation. I have had... Um, a lot of things going on in my personal life, not to get too uh, intricate with the details. However, um, I will still be in game here and there. I'm just no longer going to be creating any of the content for it. So these last few years have been really great with you guys. It's been an amazing community. Um, I think back in the days of Toe versus... Uwu and Apex, and I forget what they were before then, um, <laughs> with uh, Sneaky Tashi and whatnot. Um, we had some uh, little bit of uh, rivalry there, and occasionally I would get a like sarcastic comment on my videos. But for the most part, like everybody who comments on my videos have been super positive, and you know some of them come back to watch even though they no longer play the game, and it's gotten them back into the game. Or some of them are just there to support and. You guys have been amazing. We need that support for the content creators of this community to keep those people wanting to create content. So even if you're not big on Discord, even if you are not a fan of who's creating the content, even if you are a whale and the person creating the content is much smaller than you, um, it is an awesome thing to get in there and support those people because that's only going to pay out for everybody in the end. And I can say for certain, um, I think that first year that I was doing it, occasionally Fun Inception would come and make a comment on my video. And it was such a big deal for me because I had no connection to AVE. I had, I wasn't even the same kingdom. I just knew that Fun Inception was an amazing player and, uh, Sorry, I had to move locations, but um, that Fun Inception was an amazing player, and it really gave me that boost that I needed to keep on going. Even though I knew that there were a lot smarter players out there, there were some better content creators out there, um, it still uh, really gave me that incentive and, and desire to keep putting information out there and just, you know... Have you guys watch as I figure things out for myself too. <laughs> and that, I think that's part of the wonderful thing of this community is that we're a very positive community. So with that being said, I shall bid you all adieu. Um, 
I think I called that Jorah's shop earlier, didn't I? Isn't it Elijah's? I think it's Elijah's shop. Yeah. But I bid you guys adieu, and um, I will see you all in game. Thank you for this wonderful time as a content creator for you all. And until next time.